All right, guys, what's up? It's Connix here again, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and use multiple libraries in Scratch Live. Uh, you might want to do this if you play a lot of different types of music, and sometimes you might play gigs or events that you only need a certain type of music, so um, this is good if you don't want to uh, have all of the other crates and stuff from all your other types of music all mixed in if you're only going to be playing like a particular type of music for the night. So if you have a lot of house and techno music and you're doing a hip-hop or top 40 night, you probably ain't going to need those crates. So uh, this is just another way to further organize your music for just specific needs. So to begin, we got to first look at how Scratch Live stores information on your hard drive. Now I'm going to be showing both Mac and PC uh, versions on how to do this. Uh, we're going to take a look at Macs first. So if you store all your music on your main internal drive on your Mac, uh, if we go open it and we go into the music folder, you're going to notice you're going to have a Scratch Live folder. Uh, this is the folder the program looks for when you first start the program. And if we go inside this folder, this is where all your uh, Scratch Live crates and database information is stored. You can see here we have the crate folder, sub crate folder, database file, and all that other good stuff. So if we load up Scratch Live, so over here, this is my house and techno uh, library. I have all my house and techno crates here in my songs. So we're going to close this out now. Now, as I mentioned before, um, everything is stored in the Scratch Live folder. So if you want to make a new, fresh, blank library database, all you have to do is rename this folder. Um, but you're going to want to label it something that you're gonna it's easily you're gonna easily remember what it is so I'm just gonna add techno to the end and let's also rename the backup folder also well oh, didn't want to go in it so I'll rename that and put a little techno on it also alright so if we load up scratch live again now we should see we're not gonna have any crates or any songs so basically we're starting with the fresh blank database and library so now you can go ahead and start making new crates and all that stuff, naming them, making sub crates, adding songs from the import browser, etc. So once you do that and you exit out of Scratch Live again, and if we look back in the music folder now, you should see you have a new Scratch Live folder and a backup folder. Uh, but, okay, yeah, so there you go. This, you're going to have a new folder now. And so then you can go ahead and rename this again to something else, whatever it was. Uh, I actually didn't make anything, so I'm going to delete it. I already have something else set up, like I have my Scratch Live uh, rap and hip hop database right here. So the important thing is whatever folder is named Scratch Live is the one the program is going to look for and load all the crates and database info from. So if I want to load up my hip hop and rap database now, I'm just going to rename this folder back to just Scratch Live. And we'll also rename the backup folder also just to keep it consistent so it doesn't get messed up with any of the other backup folders. Alright, so now that we renamed the folder, if we open the program again now, you should see I don't have my uh, house and techno crates. I have my rap and hip hop and, you know, top 40 stuff. And as you can see here, that's basically it. That's all you have to do really is just rename the Scratch Live folder and whatever folder is named Scratch Live is the one that the program is going to look for and load. So you can set up pretty much an infinite amount of libraries if you really wanted to. And just the important thing is the folder needs to be named Scratch Live. So if I wanted to go ahead and reload my techno ones now, I'm going to rename the current one. This was my rap one. So I'm going to rename it back to Rap, and then if I want to reload, reload the Techno one, I've got to rename that folder back to Scratch Live. Uh, let's do the backup folder also. So after we rename them, and we load up Scratch Live again, you should see I don't have my Rap and Hip Hop crates anymore. I have my House and Techno ones. So that is for an internal drive. Now let's take a look over on the Windows XP side of things. I have already here in VMware Fusion. So if you store all your songs on your main C drive on your computer, the Scratch Life folder is located in your My Music folder. Uh, and the full path is C drive, documents and settings, whatever your username is. Mine is just administrator. 
and then my documents, my music, and there you go. You should see Scratch Live and your Scratch Live backup folder. So basically, it's just the same thing. You're just going to rename the folder to, uh, you know, whatever. Make it something that you're going to easily remember. I think this is my rap one, obviously, if my backup folder already says rap. And so there you go. Then you, you would just start Scratch Live again. I'm not going to do it on the Windows side because it takes a while to load up since I run it in VMware Fusion. But uh, same idea. Just rename the folder, open the program, make a new database library. And you can just, uh, whatever folder you want to load, make sure you rename it to Scratch Live. Now this is for songs on an internal C drive. If you use an external drive or a partition drive, basically any drive that's not designated with the letter C. Um, so here we go. This is my external drive right here. My, my book, 500 gigabyte. Uh, Scratch Live stores the create f uh, files separately on the external drive itself on the root level. And then to confuse things even more, depending on which version of Scratch Live you use, you might have two different folders. If you use version 1.8, or below, or any of the 1.7 versions, then you're going to see a hidden dot scratch live folder right here. If you use 1.8.1 or the new 1.8.2 beta version, uh, Serato changed it to uh, this underscore scratch live underscore folder right here. And so basically it's just the same thing. Just rename the folder to whatever and then start scratch live and you'll have a blank library and you can go ahead and start making new crates again and that's about it well, I should mention though that you cannot rename uh, hidden folders or rather just a folder that begins with a period so if you try to rename that to something you're gonna get an error you must type a file name so instead what you might want to do is make a new folder and label that folder whatever it is so we'll say this one is SL wrap and then what you can do is drag that folder into there so then if you start up Scratch Live now and you're using an older version, then it'll be blank again. Then you can go ahead and make a new database. And then when you close out of it, you'll see another new uh, dot Scratch Live folder here also right now. Now, as I mentioned, this, they're hidden folders, so you're not going to be able to see them by default. What you're going to need to do is go and do Start, Control Panel, Folder Options, click on the View tab, and go down here to Hidden Files and Folders and make sure this Show Hidden Files and Folders uh, bubble is checked and click apply and OK and then you'll be able to see all the hidden files and folders and so that is basically it that is how to uh, run multiple libraries in scratch live so the important thing is just make sure whatever folder or whatever database you want to use you just have the folder renamed depending on where your music is on the internal drive you're going to look in your my music folder or music folder and the scratch live folder is the one the program looks for or if you use an external drive you're going to look for the dot scratch live folder which is hidden by default or if you're using the newer 1.8.1 or above versions you're going to have the underscore scratch live underscore folder and just rename those and you can start up and make multiple libraries in scratch live